Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. Today is just a typical Thursday fall morning. And today I wanted to share with you what a lesson with Apologia Math 5 looks like. <music> Apologia Math with both my two older kids this year and ever since I've been sharing a little bit about this math curriculum I've gotten questions about it and I wanted to kind of give you what a lesson looks like so you can kind of get a feel for the program. So today's lesson is actually not your typical standard lesson that you do every day. Today is actually the end of a unit and at the end of a unit, which usually contains a few different chapters, there's a unit project. So today we get to do a fun unit project to kind of celebrate wrapping up our first unit. So if you're interested in seeing what one of these special lessons looks like, then come along. Okay, so the unit project overview is here. It is a mathematical clue game and it gives you the supplies that you need and then what the activity is. So the point of this project is who stole the last cookie? So this has like some, some stuff for the parents to do. So I prepared this last night. It only took me a few minutes to prepare. So if you go in the teacher's guide, this is part of the, the game, um, it'll tell you exactly what to do. So before the game, tear out the activity sheet of problems from the back of this answer key. I always go on the website and reprint them just because I don't like having to tear things out of here. So I printed those out and then you're supposed to cut out each math problem and scatter them around the room. You can make them visible or hide them depending on how involved you would like the game to be. Next, you're gonna tear out the activity sheets of clues. Again, I printed it um, and all the clues are in there. So you're supposed to use envelopes, but I actually didn't have any. I thought I had some, but apparently I didn't. So. I just use these file folders. So um, this is number one, and inside there will be clue number one. No fake cookies were found on the cookie plate. So that's the first clue, and then there's eight of them. So eight different clues. As she solves these math problems, she's gonna be able to, if she solves them correctly, then she gets to read the clue. Um, and then it has this sheet here, which I put on a clipboard for her. This is a guessing activity sheet for the students. So who, these are your sub suspects, where, and how. So she has to determine this based on the clues in here. So it's gonna be a really fun little game for her. Um, we did something similar the very first day we used this curriculum, actually, day one, they had some kind of clue kind of game where I taped them around the house and it was like really fun, she really liked it. It also has all of the answers to the problems in here too, so. Um, you don't actually have to solve the equations. They're all, it's all right there. So in here it says she can start with any clue that she wants. Um, and then here it says, um, you can look at the suspect list to help you analyze your clues you find. Search for a math problem. Your parent will let you know the general area where you need to look. Once you solve the problem, turn it into your parents at HQ. If you solve it correctly, they will hand you a sealed clue. Continue finding and solving problems until you've unlocked enough clues to determine who stole the last cookie, where they did it, and how. Okay, Lacey, welcome to your first unit project. Are you excited? Yes. So, we're gonna play a clue game. So, we're trying to figure out who stole the last cookie. Mr. Lewis baked cookies for his family on Tuesday night. When they went to bed that night, there was one cookie remaining. At some point on Wednesday, the last cookie vanished. These are your possible suspects here. So you have little brother, Olivia, the big sister, Pepper, the dog, Mrs. Lewis, the mom, Mrs. Russell, the neighbor, and the cat tiger. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with clue number one, which is on the whiteboard there. Yeah. You're gonna read the clue, or you're gonna read the problem. It's a math problem. You're gonna solve the math problem. Once you have the answer to the math problem, you're gonna come tell me the answer. If your answer is correct, I will give you clue number one's envelope. Oh, that's fun. Okay. I always have to start with the ones inside the parentheses. So that would be 12 minus eight, which is four. My 
Final answer is 20. Again. Try again. This is one. clue number one for your case file. No fake cookies were found on the cookie plate. So, is there anything you can determine? Yeah. I have to go around and find clue no or problem number two, wherever it is. Expand <gasps> form using the powers of ten. Six hundred six thousand sorry. It'd be like nine and then there. Six for the first one. First one six. Second one's Three. First one's nine. And then the last one's nine. Yep. Six, three, nine, nine. Yep. Good job. Okay. 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 Here is clue number two. <laughs> the culprit is not a boy. Ooh. So look back at your people here. Because mm -hmm. do you remember if the dog or cat were boy? I don't even remember. All right, so not Pepper, not Sammy, all right, it's not Pepper, Sammy, all right. Okay, go find problem number three. Put them on the fridge. I'm gonna keep my possible suspects. Okay. Here. Okay, what's problem number three? Four times two is eight. Four times seven is 28. 288. 288. All right, let me check your answer here. Um, Please be correct. That is correct. Yay. All, All right. right. Here's clue number three. I get, I get the shivers. I get the <laughs> shivers. The empty cookie plate was found in the kitchen. There was no evidence that the cookies were moved to another room. All right, so it was in the kitchen. I feel like we're playing Clue. In the kitchen, Colonel Mustard with the revolver. All right, and there was no evidence that the cookies were moved to another room. So took it to their crate to eat. Wouldn't, because I feel like that would be in another room, right? Not in the kitchen, because pet hair. So I don't think it would be in, that I don't I don't think took it to their crate to eat it it would be in that list. Definitely X'd off. Alright. Where's number four? Number four. It's a multiplication of mm -hmm. 104 times 21. Let's do this. 2184. 2184. Let's look. 2184. Yep, that's correct. Good job. Okay, so it was either Olivia or Miss, this is Lewis, the mom. Subtract, which is two, bring down three, put in one, which is 23. 21. <laughs> Olivia pointed out, that she was with Sammy all day and never had the opportunity to take the cookie without him seeing. Sammy agreed with this. Just to be sure, I'm going, I'm not going to do anything. Okay, go find number eight, your final clue. Let's see. I bet you it'll reveal who it was. 
goes in four times, which is 20, subtract, which leaves, leaves us with a remainder of three. So what's your answer? 24 remainder three. It says only pets in the lowest family eat items off the floor. No, humans ate the cookie off the floor. The scene of the crime was in the kitchen. Miss Lu <laughs> Mrs. Lewis, what the, oh my God. It was Mrs. Lewis, the scene of the crime was the kitchen and she hid it in a cupboard and returned to get it later. Sneaky mom. Mm -hmm. Moms are sneaky. So, what'd you think? Was that fun? Yes. I totally thought it would be like the dog or the cat. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a look at one of the unit project lessons for Apology and Math 5. Did you have fun? Yes, I had fun. Yeah, I had fun doing the um, unit um, activity. It was fun. It was yeah. really fun. It was fun. fun solving the mystery, playing yes. with this. Yes. Yeah. And a great way to practice your skills, huh? Yeah, it was. So, I hope you guys found it helpful, and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye. Bye.